Okay, um, Deck Tech. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna keep this quick because uh, this is the um, this is the uh, basically this is the Blood Sun deck, just with um, two somewhat minor, somewhat significant changes. Um, number one, um, we are playing Wild Canter instead of uh, Strike It Rich <clears throat> because uh, in well because. Uh, yeah, basically the idea is, is that Wild Canter a lot of times can sacrifice for an extra mana, but it can also be an attacker and blocker, and I mean, hey, if they use a removal spell on it, maybe it's not that bad. Um, but uh, but yeah, the idea is that it's mana acceleration, but in the later game it's not just it's not just a mostly dead card. So anyway, we'll see how that one goes. The um, perhaps more significant change is yes, this is no longer a Blood Sun deck. Uh, it's not that I dislike Blood Sun, but I just feel like maybe Chandra is just kind of a bigger payoff at 3 mana. I mean, if you think about it, if you think about it, Chandra doesn't lock the game out, but I mean, it's still a pretty it's still a pretty big game if you can land this on turn 2. Um, so, anyway, that's kind of the idea. We still got our Trenospheres, Magi, Pillage, Kozilek Return, and the sideboard, all the same other main deck cards. Just uh, powering out a turn 2 Chandra might, uh, might be every bit as powerful, if not more, than an early Blood Sun, so we'll see. Uh, I'll see you all in the games, and let's see how this one goes. And please smash that like button, actually. If you, if you uh, want to go ahead and smash it right now, that'd be appreciated. If for whatever reason you hate the video, you can always unlike it later. But uh, I, I think you'll like it, and you know, if you smash it now, you won't forget. So, yeah, thanks a lot. All right, match one. Let's see. I will keep. All righty. Trying to have more constant commentary, but still I think I have to pause certain areas so that I don't have breathing in the microphone. But yeah, this is, uh, this is, I think, quite the keepable hand. I will play Relic of Progenitus. It seems like... Unless we're up against Burn, which they didn't have Luris, and I think Luris is basically a staple for Burn at this point. Um, I think it's better to lead off with Relic. Alrighty. <clears throat> I think we'll get into 5, I think. Looks like it's uh, Hardened Scales. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see if this is Hardened Scales or not. Um, if it's Hardened Scales, how do our most recent changes affect this? Not sure. But at least they're not playing out a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's see. Yeah, I think we gotta play this so that we can have a clear path to <coughs> resolving <coughs> either Blood Man or Season Power Matcher, depending on what they produce. Never mind, it is Mono Green Tron. The one and only Mono Green Tron. Um, I think <coughs> I think I'm actually going to, and there's no reason not to just crack this, I think I'm going to lead on uh, Season Pyromancer, actually, because I think we need to establish a clock before we start, before we start, uh, giving them the moon, if you know what I mean. I think we can discard one, one, you know, Blood Moon. Alrighty. Man, it'd be nice to push on our next turn, but I think we are priced into <coughs> to moon next turn. So, yeah. Let's go. Okay. I guess we want to play around the possibility that they have <coughs> Manatide. So I guess we'll play this. It seems unlikely, but why not try to uh, avoid that? Alrighty. <clears throat> Let's see what is. <clears throat> no, they do not. They do not play Karn Liberated. Uh, I am a little bit terrified of that. Why would they not play Karn Liberated? Um, well, I'm probably gonna Chandra uptick play Obosh. 
let's see. Besides uh, sun and moon, because obviously there's no more sun in here. So anyway, we'll see. Chandra is of course always very nice. I, I still don't know why. Oh, because Khan Liberated, not Karn, Great Creator. All right. <clears throat> I think this is GG. So let's see. So we can do, we can play Obosh. Do this. Do this. And then attack. Alrighty. <coughs> cool stuff, and it just gets better in games two and three. Pillage and Magus, and I think we don't need Relic. I think we don't need Seal of Fire either. Seal of Fire can be cool, but I don't think we need it. And I mean, but Chandra, yeah, Chandra is like a little clunky, but Chandra can also just be gas too. I mean, we've got too many three drops though. We've got like. 24 free drop, three drops. I could see putting seal fire, but seal fire is just a little bit weak if it's not being used against creatures. But can always combine with Obosh for massive damage. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Do we hope that they, uh, yeah, I just, in my experience, we, we mulligan and we usually get punished. I wish this was a deck where we, okay, there we go. Now with eight, there's two ways to look at it, but like one way I looked at it is I could draw a, uh, an accelerant and we did. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Um. I feel like starting off with uh, with pillage. Well, let's start off by attacking. Hopefully, they don't have a warping whale. see what they maybe we should have just used it when we had the chance I'll right, we'll just play blood moon it's kind of hard to tell at this point all right <clears throat> I'm gonna get their Tron I don't have anything they can do just yet Chandra or Season Pyromancer. I think Chandra, well... Yeah, I think Chandra, because I actually, because these pitches are a little bit... I don't know. I'm going to 
try to Okay, well, good thing we, we have pillage. Um, yeah, it might as well. Yeah, let's do this. <coughs> Maybe I should have played uh, Season Power Master. We, we are getting to the point where we might build a double spell. And that would have just brick walled him anyway. Ready. That's okay. Maybe I should have um <clears throat> I should have put Obosh to hand with the uptick instead. Yeah, I'm kinda thinking maybe I should have. But you know, maybe it was correct to land Chandra, because we're in a situation where they have to answer Chandra now, like Warm Coil Engine doesn't do it. Probably block with season prime master and a token and then flames and hammer regarding the the token attack most likely. Alright, let's see if this works. Okay. Alright, well, turns out I don't need to do that. Yeah, might as well. That was a pretty nice development. Maybe I'll just do this just in case. Like, why not? Right. Okay. <clears throat> That's nice. I don't need that just yet, though. Okay. Hopefully, they can't drop current liberated. Okay. Alright, it's, uh. It's Chandra time. Okay, double magus, always nice. Let's do this. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Slight feeling that they're gonna play Ujin, but if they do, I crack back with Den of the Bugbear. So I kind of like where this is going. I kind of do. Yeah, I called it. Alrighty. 
I could also just play this, and whenever you cast a red spell... Yeah, so let's just do this then, shall we? Alrighty. Cool. Match two, let's see how it goes. Match two, let's see how it goes. Alright, let's keep. Alright, let's keep, let's keep. Let's keep, let's keep, let's keep, let's keep, let's keep. Uh we don't have to worry about ragged dashing just yet, so I'll play this. Luris kind of signals. Hopefully it's not hammer time, and they play uh, and they play uh, Esper Sentinel. That would suck. <laughs> speak of the <coughs> speak of the, you know what? But it's okay. It's not even clear we want to use this just yet. Anyway, we may want to wait. Let's see. Okay. I'll take one, I guess. Oh well. Okay, so I got Esper Sentinel in Bogles. Very interesting. Well, let's try to play Blood Moon now or forever hold our peace. Alrighty. Okay. I want to put out Chandra now because I don't want to discard it. Well, or I could. Yeah, I'll put this into there. Yeah, let's put this out. Let's discard Relic and Hammer. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Since we got another one, we can just uh, uptick crack. Alrighty. Guess we'll do this. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so listen your boggles. <clears throat> Let's go. Um I don't know how useful a hammer really is, considering that they most of their stuff is. Yeah, Trinisphere could be good too, actually. Definitely want pillage, and you know I'm thinking we want Trinisphere too. instead of Chandra. Yeah, how about instead of Chandra? Chandra can be good. We we just need these little burn spells just for like, I don't know. Maybe we don't need them. If they don't have seal of, I mean, uh, if they don't have um, 
Leyline of Sanctity, then it could help us burn them out with Obosh. We'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Two mages, but we may have turned three mages. And beggars can't be choosers. I'm not gonna. <clears throat> okay. I think I'm going to. Yeah. Some more having to deal with uh, this per sentinel, so be it. So be it. Let's see if Magus can, can put the herd on again. play this. <coughs> Let's see. Hopefully they don't have too many white enchantments. Obviously, block with Wild Canter. <coughs> Maybe these Trinospheres <coughs> should be Chandra's. I'm yeah, just overrating, <coughs> overrating them. They're probably more of just a pure anti-combo type type of card. Right, let's see. I'll offer the trade. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what did I do?
Okay, we're both kind of dirtling for a bit. Okay, that might break the dirtle parity. Um, let's just attack with one. Let's see, okay. All right, I'll do this. I think we're definitely gonna discard both the transfers. Okay, alrighty. Let's see. Okay, we'll just do that. I mean, what else am I going to use that? Alrighty, probably put this out. And then probably just put that in my hand with wall counter. a strong start. Let's see if we can keep it up. We will keep. We will play Argaban for the upside of turn 2 moon. Let's go. Alrighty. Sure, they've got some type of removal spell. Okay, Moon or Pyro. All right, well, at least we get to play Pyro on turn two. Oh, I, I don't like discarding these two burn spells, but I think we got to do what we got to do. And I think we have to discard them. Very nice. Yeah, we gotta do this before uh, they discard this. Alrighty. Not bad. So this tells me this is a Saga Ban, not Rectos Midrange. Definitely Saga Ban like. Okay, yep, that happened. Alrighty. Alrighty. I'm just gonna do this just in case, uh, in case of dashing Raga. Alrighty. Alrighty. <coughs> of course they can remove it in Raga, but still. Okay, not bad. Okay. Maybe I'll just start throwing caution to the wind with the whole Raga situation. Especially considering they won't get an Urza token next turn. Yeah, 
Now let me just do this. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll hold back. <laughs> I just would just hate for them to like snag a uh, seasoned pyromancer or something. We're just we're getting we're accruing a lot of advantage like this, so we'll see. Yep, good thing we held back a token. Good thing we held back a token, not me. Good thing we held back a token, not me. Da, 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 da. Okay. I think that was a pretty good showing. Uh, Shun Saga Van. <coughs> Ponza. I'll just call I'll just call this deck Ponza for lack of a better word for now. Mono red, Obash Ponza. This is my uh, makeshift um, Arbor Elf. This is my makeshift Utopia Sprawl. Um, this is way worse than Arbor Elf, but this is actually arguably way better than Utopia Sprawl. So I guess there's there's some uh, yeah. <coughs> I think all we really want is pillage. All we want for Christmas is pillage. Now, yeah, see, this is one of the matchups where we don't necessarily want or need the creatures, but as between the two, I think it's hard to argue that Wild Canter is better than Ragavan. Yeah, I just don't really have anything else to bring out here, so. I think Magus, I mean, both Magus and Ragavan die on sight, just Magus cost me three mana while dying. Whereas Ragavan cost me one, so. Think of it this way. <clears throat> for one mana, Ragavan discards a removal spell from their hand and forces them to tap one mana. Doesn't sound so bad now, does it? Maybe not. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Da -da -da. Would you play that card? One red mana, target player target player discards a removal spell from their hand and uh, taps and taps a mana at the beginning of their up, next upkeep or something like that. Taps a land. Oh no. See we're we're trying to rely on the heart of the cards here. By that I mean our top deck. If they play nothing else, I could, in theory, uh, hammer this cleanly, but we'll see. I highly doubt they don't play an instant. But you never know. Well, I guess I guess they are okay with uh with this getting hammered. I mean, it's very rare that you get the opportunity to cleanly remove Tarmogoy with a single burn spell, but I'll take it. it. Notably, it wouldn't have worked with Lightning Bolt because it would have gotten pumped from this being an instant. 
so we'll see. Oh no. Bye bye, Chandra. Clearly it's gotta be Chandra. Although actually hitting their lands is not doesn't sound so bad either. You look at it both ways. Still it's gotta be Chandra, right? Ah, that's why. Gotcha. Alrighty. Well, well, there we go. Yeah, I think I want to get rid of this before this accrues too much advantage. The Thought Seize glitch strikes again. Sometimes the Thought Seize glitch really does seem real. Alrighty. With three pillages, what are the odds we draw through a pillage right there? Oh, man, well, and the silver lining is I thought we got to keep Chandra, but nope. Alrighty. I don't know, what would we attack with? No, I don't think we don't attack, I think we want to put Obosh to hand. That's what I think. Now we got a... We got big things on the menu if Obosh resolves. Alrighty. Let's see. Sorry, I gotta make a quick... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, they seem to be a bit mana screwed. Well, Chandra time. I think, do this. All right, let's see. Uh, oh man, I liked Relic. Wish we, maybe I wish we didn't pick up. Oh well. It is what it is. At least it helps us get our mana quicker. They actually don't have any red mana, now that I think about it. Okay. Okay, you got it, pal. Okay. They're gonna return. Okay, fair enough. Alright, I think I'm gonna lightning bolt. Alrighty. Let's go. Well, I think I gotta get this out. Oops, uh, yeah, I think we have to play this out uh, while we can. Let's see here. And then next turn we can start utilizing Ragavan. Maybe we just want to play it out. It makes us immune to discard. Shall see. We 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 shall see. Unholy heat. They're gonna unholy heat our Obosh, but at least they have to choose between unholy heating our Obosh or Chandra. Okay. I can live with that. I can. I'll live. Alrighty. Um. Let's do this when we can. Okay. Good to know about. Alrighty. Well, this is the easiest uh, spike field ever. Okay. 
I think I think I'll take the run and six. Uh, unfortunately, there's no lands to return, but that's okay. How many? I'll just put that back to my hand, and we'll see. I mean, at least this is a stored value of little little one mana tickers. I have a feeling they're gonna get uh, they're gonna get Relic of Progenitus on my Chandra meanie. Oh, very very mean. They could they could name Soulscar. I mean Soul Steel Fire though too. That would also be kind of mean. Yeah, well, we knew Pith and Gatel was coming. Alrighty. Wondering if I should, uh, It's three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I could trade with Den of the Bugbear. Um, I could also down tick dash with Ragavan because then it'll go to uh, six, and then that actually might not be a bad idea. Down tick and then dash with Ragavan. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. And this is all thanks to you, Shinka. They already have enchantment in their graveyard because of Urza Saga, so this isn't going to change anything. Maybe I just want to actually deal with it. No, we're going to get the first strike damage. Alright. Let's see. It's not going to change anything. First strike damage is already dealt. Incense already in the graveyard. I don't know what they could be doing. So is land. So is enchantment. Alright, I'm just going to put this. Nah. Let's go. Alright, that's fine. I actually prefer that to discarding Ragavan. Alrighty. Alright, let's see. Alrighty. Okay. Notably, I can return that mountain to my hand that I just discarded, which is always nice. Alrighty. Alright, let's go. Alrighty.
Let's go. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Not bad. Da 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 da. Da da da. Da 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 da. da. My little Ren and Six here. My little Ren and Six buddy. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna block with these empowerments here. They don't have any first strike thingy to give. What well, I have to deal with Luris once that comes down. Thank you very much. Alrighty. How about this here? Uh, we'll wait, we'll wait. I, I want to tick up with Chandra so bad. Or tick down. But, uh, let's be patient. Good things come to those who are patient, right? Sometimes fortune favors the bold, though. There is definitely uh, some conflicting wisdom sometimes. Because I want to return this to my hand with Ren and Six. I want to down tick. Oh, nice. We got it back. Oh, man. That felt good. That felt good. Yeah, I think fortune favors the bold sometimes. So now we got recurring blast zones. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. If we can ultimate with Chandra, I think that's GG. I guess we will see how this plays out. So what they may want to do is they may want to bring back, uh, bring back Ragavan and put me to the test about whether or not I'm going to... No, or just put me to the test like that. Well, clearly, I'm going to have to do this. I do not want to lose my my Chandra. Alrighty. Ragavan. Ragavan, Ragavan, does everything a Ragavan can. Okay. Well, I, I can I can uh, just um, blast zone again. Thank you very much. Alrighty. I'm still going to ultimate. I might be able, not be able to cast everything this turn, but, uh, but, oh man, Blood Moon would be pretty good here, but so would Season Pyromancer. Okay, they just made it easy for us. Oh yeah, because actually if I play Blood Moon, we zap the, uh, we zap the Lurus. Um, yeah, yeah, good stuff. Oh man, that was we out talk about out Jun the Junt. Hashtag out Jun the Junt. Alright, match one. I mean let's see. 
I mean, I mean, let's, uh, let's indeed see. Alright, well. Uh, I don't think I can keep. I guess my better Jonjo not keeping. Yes, it's not an exact science a lot of times, whether or not I keep. There's a lot of close decisions where I will, uh, yeah, where I will, like, really stress about it, but hey, what can you do? Okay, let's see. Okay, well, this, uh, this will result in immediate execution of me if we don't draw land. Alright, well, I guess time to bid goodbye to the cruel world. Okay. Well, that's that. That backfired spectacularly. I don't know, just sometimes my hands are just kind of floody, and they don't really have much payoff, so I think maybe, you know. But, you know, I will admit, I did not notice Gigantha. That's, that's the problem. But we did have Blood Moon also. The odds of us drawing more lands are way better than us drawing into Blood Moon. But anyway. Okay. Yeah, you know what? We're going to take out Hammer. Hammer is cool. Hammer can be good. But Hammer is also kind of expensive. And yeah. This is our first game loss this league. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> Man, Chandra seems Chandra is really good actually. That's that's one takeaway here. Chandra is pretty pretty good. Probably better than Blood Sun. I know that takes away the namesake of the deck. Maybe I should I, I'll, I should call this Full Moon. Maybe yeah. I'll call this, uh, I'll call this Full Moon, actually. Excuse me while I rename. I'll call this, uh, Full, Full Moon Midrange. Let's see, if, sorry, Full Full moon, mid range. Yes, but the power of the full moon. So we go from sun and moon to full moon. Technically, we have the same amount of moons, but I mean, we don't technically have alpine moon, but that's not a true moon. It's only a partial moon. Okay. Alrighty, I will. I will keep. I don't think we actually need to mana accelerate into this, but the cool thing about Wild Canter is it's still just a beater, even if we don't need to mana accelerate. Alrighty.
Okay, so I wasn't getting my commentary there. Oh, that sucks. But yeah, uh, I, basically I was I was in kind of a dilemma of whether or not to to play Rag Ragavan dash it or um, or dig for uh, more hate pieces. Obviously, we made the right choice. Dang it, though. I felt I, I was liking that commentary I was given. It's too bad it was on mute. I just I, I wish the microphone didn't pick up my breathing noises, and I wouldn't have to mute it. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Actually, I don't really know if we need if we want seal of fire. Maybe we just want. Uh... Now seal. Uh... Now we. Uh, yeah, it's hard to say. Now we want seal of fire. We need. We need burn. We need. We need to be able to finish them off right when. Because sometimes they're, they're right when they're going to recover. We need to be able to finish them off. So we'll see. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. Okay, oh gosh, the prey piercer. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, I can do better than this. Very little clock. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, only one hate piece, but but the key thing here is we got Ragavan, and I think I have to just hope that this gets us get us to where we need to be. Okay. And I hope they miss their um. Hope they miss a Tron land because if they do, then we can establish Chandra first and then pillage. So then Chandra's gonna be a full turn ahead on ticking up. I do think. Okay, great. Yeah, because I, I do think I want to play Chandra. That's probably where I want to be. Then the question after that will be: Do I want to tick up for damage or tick up for uh, revealing cards? Yeah, let's let's Chandra. I know it might seem weird, but in the long run, we generate more card advantage, and we uh, and if we ever hit seven, we just win. This one of the reasons I like this is because this gets around uh, Worm Coil Engine, and Worm Coil Engine is our public enemy number one um, for winning under Blood Moon. Uh, Chandra is vulnerable to Karn Liberated, though. But Karn Liberated can be easily dealt with once ticking down, once tick, once it ticks down a Chandra. So I think we want to go after the mine next turn. Okay. Alrighty. We'll tick down with Chandra first. That way, if we hit a pillage off of Chandra, we'll use that instead. Or a Moon Effect, we'll definitely use that instead. Okay. At least we got rid of that permanently. Another Chandra, not too particularly amazing. Okay. Alrighty. So there's their other mine. Okay. Another mine. Now, I may have to uptick. Let's see. Before we decide whether to uptick or not, let's uh, just crash in with Ragavan. Yeah, I don't think we need to uptick because we can. Come on. Man, we're just not seeing our hate pieces. This sucks. We only saw one pillage? Just one pillage, not even two. Alright, well, let's see. Come on, please, no. Please, no natural Tron. I mean, semi natural Tron. Please. 
please. Let us go at least for one. That would be very sweet. I dug as far as I could to try to find another hate piece, but let's see. I realized I probably should have put Obosh to hand, actually. Ah, oh, we might be able to do that. Yeah, we can do that next turn, actually. And attack, I think. Okay. All right, well, that's going to be critical. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do this. Oh, there we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. And then we have Mega Shawn return next turn. Always nice. Let's see. Okay, alrighty. Four and zero. Do we get another trophy in the house? All right. <clears throat> Match five. Let's see if we can get the trophy. Well, turn two Blood Moon. Might be able to make that happen. Um, hopefully they can't kill my precious Wild Cantor. This is where um, this is where Strike It Rich could be better, but I, I like I like the way Wild Cantor is just a one mana one one later in the game. Really puts a limit on just how bad it can really be. Alrighty. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Da, 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 da. All right. Well, let's uh. Let's go for Moon, see if it see if it does its thing. <laughs> Asaurus control. Well that's a good start. We're not out of the woods yet, but that is what we call a good start. Alrighty. Alrighty. Alright, let's see here. Got some lag there at the end, but All right, we definitely want Magus. And I think we probably want Pillage. Alrighty. Um. Man, all these three mana cards are super, super good. So I guess we have to cut Relic. And I guess we have to cut Seal of Fire. Yeah, should be. Should be okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Alright, Obosh, I choose you. Alright, and we once again have the option of turn two, Blood Moon. See, what I like about this is one of the main reasons why I'm playing Wild Canter instead of uh, Strike It Rich here in this 
trying it this time. Uh, I did a test league, which unfortunately had way too many audio issues, where I tried Wild Canter and Strike It Rich. Um, needless to say, uh, there was something to be said about having 12 accelerants, but the main takeaway was actually how impressed I was with Wild Canter. Just not a busted card by any stretch of the imagination, but just how useful it was. As a, as a chump blocker, as a mana source, it's just so surprisingly useful. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think, would you? Um. Well, this sucks. I'm going to have to go silent. All right, match uh, five with um, uh, yeah, with the post uh, post match commentary on this one because um, I had to uh, I had to go silent for a bit, but we kept uh, we kept this hand. I mean, double wild canter. Um, yeah, but most importantly, possibility of of a turn two moon. So, yep, turn two moon. It is, and we lead on mages, of course, because it can't be forced, and because we can block the Dryad Arbor, and because it's a clock. And it turns out that uh, blocking the Dryad Arbor uh, is actually going to be more important than it might look like. There's a little, a little pausing here, but yeah. So they play a Plains, and they... Uh, they put Staggering Insight on this, and at this point we realize this isn't Azorius Control, this is Azorius Bogles. Probably playing Dryad Arbor just for the creature, and not for uh, and not for the green most likely, or very minimally for the green, I'm guessing. Um, yes. Um, we just decided to block, because we got more moon effects where that came from, and that card obviously will draw a card if it connects, and, you know, yeah, rather, rather than not draw a card. We want the, the Blast Zone to come in for zero. Maybe this is still incorrectly thinking about this in terms of um, in terms of Azorius control with uh, Shark Blade. It's very possible that um, that obviously this coming into play with one counter is better if they deal with it somehow, because then we can deal with their one mana Bogles. This can't deal with a uh, Dryad Arbor either way, so maybe you know that was probably a s slight misplay. Let's think about modern, though. You never know when little tiny things like this really matter. Whether Blast Zone comes into play with a counter before Blood Moon or not. You know, we'll see. We shall see. We shall see. Yep. But at the end of the day, they seem to be able to not do much with only one blue and one white. And also, of course, they were kind of mana screwed for a while. So at the end of the day, it's just kind of looking like we are in a pretty good spot. You know? What can I say? It's just kind of looking like that. It really is. Yep, 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 yep. It really is. It really is. So we'll play this. Place these in Pyromancer. Draw two cards. And yeah, then play Wild Canter. We have a pretty impressive board here. In retrospect, I was thinking maybe we should have put Obosh to hand, but we could also put Obosh to hand and play it next turn off the canter mana. So, yeah. Canters do get buffed by Obosh, and yeah, and they pack it in. And just like that, we have ourselves our trophy number seven, I think. As you can see from my little cursor freezing up here, there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of victory lag going on here. All right, there we go. Okay, post league wrap up. Well, so if that's a five zero. Um, yeah, Mo Tron, Boggles, Sagavan, uh, 
yeah, I mean, definitely there was a lot of Tron and there was a lot of Boggles in this league. But hey, I mean, hey, uh, landing uh, Blood Moon on turn two, landing uh, Chandra early, it can all really, uh, really make a difference. So, you know, I uh, I think this was a pretty good, I think this was a pretty good showing. Um, yeah, I think the only kind of uh, thought here is that uh, uh, there's, I, I think I'd probably rather want to play Skirk Prospector instead of uh, Wild Canter. Um, shout out to uh, Mr. Zurakai who suggested a, uh, who suggested a, a Skirk Prospector. Um, yeah, it's in my tweet. I forget who uh, um, suggested Wild Cantor, uh, but uh, I did put them uh, in my tweet, if you go back in my Twitter history from when I 5-0'd uh, with the stack and I posted that to Twitter. But yeah, shout out to everybody for um, giving their two cents. Uh, these uh, these deck ideas evolve and become even stronger, partially with the help of, um, you know, with the help of you all, so... I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Just I think this deck did exactly what it was supposed to do. We managed to get the 5-0. I, uh, I like it. Um, and uh, this will probably be our... I mean, without Blood Sun, it has a little worse matchup against Amulet Titan, but I think this is probably going to be our our amulet, our anti-Amulet Titan Silver Bullet that we'll keep around in case needed. But otherwise, if you like this content and you want to see more of it, please hit that subscribe button and... Uh, and don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. So take care, everybody, and uh, see you next time.